an importance of biotechnology. Biotechnology is the use of living systems and organisms to develop or make useful products or any technological application that uses biological systems, living organisms or derivatives thereof to make or modify products or processes for specific use. Depending on the tools and applications, it often overlaps with the fields of bioengineering and biomedical engineering. For thousands of years, humankind has used biotechnology in agriculture, food production and medicine. The term itself is largely believed to have been coined in 1919 by Hungarian engineer Karoli Eriki. In the late 20th and the early 21st century, biotechnology has expanded to include new and diverse sciences such as genomics, recombinant gene technologies, applied immunology and development of pharmaceutical therapies and diagnostic tests. The wide concept of biotechnology encompasses a wide range of procedures for modifying living organisms according to human purposes, going back to domestication of animals, cultivation of plants and improvements to these through breeding programs and employ artificial selection and hybridization. Modern usage also includes genetic engineering as well as cell and tissue culture technologies. The American Chemical Society defines biotechnology as the application of biological organisms, systems or processes by various industries to learning about the science of life and the improvement of the value of materials and organisms such as pharmaceuticals, crops and livestock. Biotechnology also writes on to the pure biological sciences, animal cell culture, biochemistry, cell biology, embryology, genetics, microbiology and molecular biology. In many instances, it is also dependent on knowledge and methods from outside the sphere of biology, including bioinformatics, a new brand of computer science, bioprocess engineering, biorobotics, chemical engineering. Modern biological sciences are intimately entwined and heavily dependent on the methods developed through biotechnology and what is commonly thought of as the life sciences industry. Biotechnology is the research and development in the laboratory using bioinformatics for exploration, extraction, exploitation and production from any living organisms and any source of biomass by means of biochemical engineering where high value added products could be planned, reproduced by biosynthesis for example, forecasted, formulated, developed, manufactured and marketed for the purpose of sustainable operation and gaining durable patent rights. For exclusive rights for sale and prior to this to receive national and international approval from the results of animal experiment and human experiment, especially on the pharmaceutical branch of biotechnology to prevent any undetected side effects or safety concerns by using the products. Bioengineering is generally thought of as related field that more heavily emphasizes higher systems approaches, not necessarily the altering or using of biological materials directly for interfacing with and utilizing living things. Bioengineering is the application of the principles of engineering and natural sciences to tissues, cells and molecules. This can be considered as the use of knowledge from working with and manipulating biology to achieve a result that can improve functions in plants and animals. Related biomedical engineering is an overlapping field that often draws upon and applies biotechnology, especially in certain subfields of biomedical and or chemical engineering such as tissue engineering, biopharmaceutical engineering and genetic engineering. Biotechnology has applications in four major industrial areas including healthcare, the medical, crop production and agriculture, non-food industries, uses for crops and other products, example biodegradable plastics, vegetable oil, biofuels and environmental uses. For example, 
One application of biotechnology is the directed use of organisms for the manufacture of organic products. Another example is using naturally present bacteria by the mining industry in bioleaching. Biotechnology is also used to recycle, treat waste, clean up sites contaminated by industrial activities, which is known as bioremediation, and also to produce biological weapons. A series of derived terms have been coined to identify several branches of biotechnology. For example, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field which addresses biological problems using computational techniques and makes the rapid organization as well as analysis of biological data possible. The field may also be referred to as computational biology and can be defined as conceptualizing biology in terms of molecules and then applying informatics techniques to understand and organize the information associated with these molecules on a large scale. Bioinformatics plays a key role in various areas such as functional genomics, structural genomics and proteomics and forms a key component in the biotechnology and the pharmaceutical sector. Blue biotechnology is a term that has been used to describe the marine and aquatic applications of biotechnology but its use is relatively rare. Green biotechnology is biotechnology applied to agricultural processes. An example would be the selection and domestication of plants via micropropagation. Another example is the designing of transgenic plants to grow under specific environments in the presence or absence of chemicals. One hope is that green biotechnology might produce more environmentally friendly solutions than traditional industrial agriculture. An example of this is the engineering of a plant to express a pesticide, thereby ending the need for external application of pesticides. An example of this would be Bt cotton. Whether or not green biotechnology products such as this are ultimately more environmentally friendly is a topic of considerable debate. Red biotechnology is applied to medical processes. Some examples are the designing of organisms to produce antibiotics and the engineering of genetic cures through genetic manipulation. White biotechnology, also known as industrial biotechnology, is biotechnology applied to industrial processes. An example is the designing of an organism to produce a useful chemical. Another example is the using of enzymes as industrial catalysts to either produce valuable chemicals or destroy hazardous polluting chemicals. Agriculture Genetically modified crops, in short which are known as GM crops or biotech crops, are plants used in agriculture the DNA of which has been modified using genetic engineering techniques. In most cases, the aim is to introduce a new trait to the plant which does not occur naturally in the species. Examples in food crops include resistance to certain pests, diseases, stressful environmental conditions, resistance to chemical treatments, reduction of spoilage or improving the nutrient profile of the crop. Examples in non-food crops include production of pharmaceutical agents, biofuels and other industrially useful goods as well as for bioremediation. Farmers have widely adopted GM technology. Between 1996 and 2011, the total surface area of land cultivated with genetically modified crops has increased by a factor of 94 from 17,000 square kilometers to 395 million acres. 10% of the world's crop lands were planted with genetically modified crops in 2010. As of 2011, 11 different transgenic crops were grown commercially on 395 million acres, which is 160 million hectares, in 29 countries such as the USA, Brazil, Argentina, India, Canada, China, Paraguay, South Africa, Bolivia, Australia, Philippines, Myanmar, Mexico and Spain. Genetically modified foods are foods produced from organisms that have had specific changes introduced into their DNA 
using the methods of genetic re-engineering. These techniques have allowed for the introduction of new crop traits as well as a far greater control over a food's genetic structure than previously afforded by methods such as selective breeding and mutation breeding. Commercial sale of genetically modified foods began in 1994 when Calgene first marketed its flavor saver delayed ripening tomato. To date, most genetic modification of foods have primarily focused on cash crops in high demand by farmers such as soybean, corn, canola and cotton seed oil. These have been engineered for resistance to pathogens and herbicides and better nutrient profiles. Genetically modified livestock have also been experimentally developed, although as of November 2013, none are currently on the market. There is a broad scientific consensus that food on the market derived from genetically modified crops poses no greater risk to human health than conventional food. Genetically modified crops also provide a number of ecological benefits if not used in excess. However, opponents have objected to genetically modified crops per se on several grounds including environmental concerns, whether food produced from GM crops is safe, whether genetically modified crops are needed to address the world's food needs, and the economic concerns raised by the fact that these organisms are subject to intellectual property law. Genetic engineering, also called genetic modification, is the direct manipulation of an organism's genome using biotechnology. New DNA may be inserted in the host genome by first isolating and copying the genetic material of interest using molecular cloning methods to generate a DNA sequence or by synthesizing the DNA and then inserting this construct into the host organism. Genes may be removed or knocked out using a nucleus. Gene targeting is a different technique that uses homologous recombination to change an endogenous gene and can be used to delete a gene, remove exons, add a gene or introduce point mutations. An organism that is generated through genetic re-engineering is considered to be genetically modified organism. The first genetically modified organisms were bacteria in 1973 and genetically modified mice were generated in 1974. Insulin producing bacteria were commercialized in 1982 and the genetically modified food has been sold since 1994. Glowfish, the first genetically modified organism designed as a pet, was first sold in the United States in December in 2003. Let us now look at the scope of biotechnology in the field of medicine. In medicine, modern biotechnology finds applications in areas such as pharmaceutical drug discovery and production, pharmacogenomics and genetic testing or genetic screening. DNA microarray chip, some can do as many as a million blood tests at once. Pharmacogenomics, a combination of pharmacology and genomics, is the technology that analyzes how genetic makeup affects an individual's response to drugs. It deals with the influence of genetic variation on drug response in patients by correlating gene expression or single nucleotide polymorphisms with a drug's efficacy or toxicity. By doing so, pharmacogenomics aims to develop rational means to optimize drug therapy with respect to the patient's genotype to ensure maximum efficacy with minimal adverse effects. Such approaches promise the advent of personalized medicine, in which drugs and drug combinations are optimized for each individual's unique genetic makeup. Biotechnology has contributed to the discovery and manufacturing of traditional small molecule pharmaceutical drugs as well as drugs that are the product of biotechnology, which is biopharmaceutics. Modern biotechnology can be used to manufacture existing medicines relatively easily and cheaply. The first genetically engineered products were medicines designed to treat human diseases. To cite one example, in 1978, Genentech developed synthetic humanized insulin 
by joining its gene with a plasmid vector inserted into the bacterium Escherichia coli. Insulin, widely used for the treatment of diabetes, was previously extracted from the pancreas of abattoir animals, cattle and or pigs. The resulting genetically engineered bacterium enabled the production of vast quantities of synthetic human insulin at a relatively low cost. Biotechnology has also enabled emerging therapeutics like gene therapy. The application of biotechnology to basic science, for example, through the Human Genome Project has also dramatically improved our understanding of biology and as our scientific knowledge of normal and disease biology has increased, our ability to develop new medicines to treat previously untreatable disease has increased as well. Genetic testing allows the genetic diagnosis of vulnerabilities to inherited diseases and can also be used to determine a child's parentage, genetic mother and father, or in general a person's ancestry. In addition to studying chromosomes to the level of individual genes, genetic testing in a broader sense includes biochemical tests for the possible presence of genetic diseases or mutant forms of genes associated with increased risk of developing genetic disorders. Genetic testing identifies changes in chromosomes, genes or proteins. Most of the time, testing is used to find changes that are associated with inherited disorders. The results of a genetic test can confirm or rule out a suspected genetic condition or help determine a person's chance of developing or passing on a genetic disorder. As of 2011, several hundred genetic tests were in use. Since genetic testing may open up ethical or psychological problem, genetic testing is often accompanied by genetic counseling. Gene therapy is the use of nucleic acid polymers as a drug to treat disease by therapeutic delivery into a patient's cells, where they are either expressed as proteins, interfere with the expression of proteins, or possibly even correct genetic mutations. The most common form of gene therapy involves using DNA that encodes a functional therapeutic gene to replace a mutated gene. In gene therapy, the nucleic acid molecule is packed within a vector which is used to get the molecule inside cells within the body. Let us now look at the scope of biotechnology and sericulture briefly. In recent years, silkworm has become a model organism for understanding the biology of silkworms to manipulate and reconstruct the genes to produce high-quality silk. Some of the significant findings include sex-linked markers, characterization of DNA markers, construction of early linkage maps, establishment of stable germline transformation, production of pharmaceutically important proteins, immune response proteins, and annotation of thousands of express sequence tags, construction of bacterial artificial chromosome libraries, identification and characterization of Z-chromosome linked genes, demonstration of lack of dosage compensation, accomplishment of whole genome sequencing, identification of W-chromosome specific BACs, Lepidoptera specific genes, horizontal gene transfer, and characterization of essential baculoviral genes. The development and improvement of protocol of silkworm transgenesis has opened new areas of application. The nucleopolyhedrovirus is also being exploited as a vector for introduction of foreign genes. Expression of marker proteins luciferase and green fluorescent protein has been successfully achieved in cell lines and larval caterpillars of silkworm, Bormrix mori, employing recombinant BMNPV vector harboring reported genes. Today, silkworm genetic manipulation is possible due to availability of more than 400 visible mutations, 3000 diverse silkworm strains, high-density molecular linkage and physical maps, complete whole genome sequence of 428 MB, 16,000 expressed sequence tags and well-established transgenic system. At CDFT Hyderabad, 
about 400 different types of microsatellite DNA markers has been developed in silkworm. At IIT Kharagpur and NII, New Delhi, under molecular biological studies on silk protein, fibroin and sericin, genes of non-mulberry silkworm, eri, muga and tassar, fibroin, a major protein from eri, muga and tassar, has been purified and characterized. A new and novel type of double-stranded segmented RNA cytoplasmic polyhedrosis virus infecting tassar silkworm has been identified at IIT Kharagpur, which will lead to developing control measures against cytoplasmic viral disease affecting tassar silkworm. At CCMB Hyderabad, a prototype of web-enabled DNA database on Mulberry has been developed for the first time in the world, encompassing DNA fingerprinting studies carried out on more than ISO genotypes, including 48 selected allied genotypes. At Delhi University, the transient expression of the marker gene in various explants from different commercially important genotypes of mulberry has been demonstrated. This success has opened up possibilities for the production of transgenic mulberry clones with desired traits in the future. Under post-harvest technology, a process has been successfully developed for degumming of silk with fungal protease enzyme as a valuable alternative to the existing methods of degumming at IIT New Delhi. This will lead to improvement in the quality of fabric finished products. To establish genetic identity and racial specificity of different accessions with an attempt to identify the duplicates and to identify molecular markers for important economic traits. In this direction, Multi-voltine and bivoltine accessions have been characterized based on ISSR, RAPD and EST based primers. India is also a part of the International Consortium on Lepidopterin Genomics along with seven other countries in which silkworm genomics is a major component. Genomic maps constructed in standard silkworm strains has no doubt helped in stock identification, marker-assisted selection, identification of quantitative trait loci characteristics. Further, efforts should be intensified to identify traits of silk production, more especially silk fibroin, sericin, disease resistance, etc. Possibilities of production of silkworm and mulberry byproducts and more especially their medical and biological usage through biotechnological methods should be explored. Efforts to characterize useful traits of mulberry and silkworm through molecular tools should continue with the available markers. Molecular approaches collectively represent a potential gold mine of important information that can be applied to programs of genetic improvement. Molecular marker and GNA sequence analysis of extent and new silkworm germplasm collections should be prioritized for allowing a more complete characterization and understanding of the genetic relationships within the breeds. Molecular markers can also be used to confirm the percentage of individuals in a breeding population for genetic fingerprinting and protection of intellectual property rights. India is yet to reap the benefits of seri biotechnology to bring out products in the form of technology as the same is still an infant stage in spite of making sincere but compartmentalized attempts. With respect to improvement of silkworm, we need to emphasize on the major diseases, their epidemiology for early detection of pathogens, pathogenicity and pattern of host resistance as well as for identification of markers for post-cocoon traits such as the filament length, uniformity, tensile strength, etc. The improvement of silkworm should be based on shortlisting of available silkworm germplasm races for various improved economic traits through detection of respective DNA markers. Similarly, in case of improvement of host plants, the focus should include tolerance to biotic and abiotic stresses as well as developing transgenic mulberry through introgression of genes for stress tolerance and silkworm disease resistance.
With this, we come to the nature and scope of biotechnology in the field of agriculture, medicine and briefly in sericulture. Thank you. 